What's up guys, H of Masters here, doing another Hero Factory view on the Doombox sets. Alright, this is on screener. Now let's take a look at the box. The first thing I well, box, not box, I mean bag. First thing I want to show you guys is right back here, Voltex. It's standing there on top of, I don't even know what that is. Eggs are 6 to 12, the item number is 6 to a2 and yeah, camera fail and there's 42 pieces pretty good screener and 200 game points mm, nice gold cool top All right now I'll switch it around here's the back and just an advertisement for the game as always the online game which is very glitchy how to put on the cuffs screeners Helmet, actual size. That'd be a nice little picture screen. And like a way on a demo on how the ball and socket joint system works. Alright. Now let's open. Oh yeah, there's zippers, so I guess these are like guidelines or something. I don't know. Okay. You get it? Do we got to make it? Nope. Wait, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. All right. Well, for part of it, we did. All right. Switching the mini tripod. Sorry about this. All right, instructions on the bag. And this was the only piece that was not in the bag, and it's a, a torso piece. So let's just take a quick look at instructions. The front screener, crazy kid who wants to win, mm, Lego Club, and Marvel Superhero Ultra Builds. Hero Factory Goshi Online Game, and XT4 versus Next. All right. Screener plus full text equals this. I don't know if I'm gonna build it. All the pieces, and it goes up to 20 pages long, which is actually pretty good for a very small set. All right, now I'm going to show you the part. All right, so here are the parts. Well, some of them aren't on camera, but that's okay. First thing I want to show you is this new silver gun piece, a new recolor 2.0 shield, and now in silver. And we got that in bulk. Uh, that's not a new piece. Recolored, you know, bottom shooter thing. Recolored in silver. For the guns. This is awesome. Transparent dark blue. Just like torso arm plate thing. That looks really good, cool. This nice little shoulder pad piece is really nice. How it's like a sonic boom. The nice song blue like musical and stuff. Finish screen his name. We have some dark blue joints. And the ma maximum amount of joints we have is this and this. But um we also do have these in black in the set. Okay, this is um pretty cool to have. Anything else here that's pretty interesting? Uh, well, it's not interesting, but we do have two hands in Swinger. Let's give him fist bumps. Alright. A fresh new 1.0 helmet. And a blue blaster ball thing. Alright, let's build it. Alright, so here we have Swinger all built up, looking all cool and stuff. Which is great if you're me. Alright, let's take a look at him. Number one thing, look at his chest. It's compares and you can see inside. But however, that actually isn't too much of a problem because his gun actually blocks that out like and most of the time. Depends what pose he's in. Most of the time it does, which is great. And he is a smaller figure, which is a little upsetting. And his gun's a little bit too big for him. Here, comparison. Just as big as his leg. Wow. 
But either way, he still looks pretty cool. Um, flaws with him, if you ask me. Actually, not too many. How you can see his chest doesn't bother me actually that much. Because the camera, you can see it a lot. Obviously for you guys, but in real life, it's different. It's The chest was actually very dark. Hang on, I'm going to take a cut camera because my tripod's like failing me right now. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, so as I was saying, not too much problems. My only problem would be that these are gun rails, so those kind of look weird every once in a while, but they don't really... Um, they're not like the chest waist thing. They don't really bother you too much. Now, let me just show you his back. He's not standing up that well. Well, that I have to show everyday kind of crappy backs, but at least we can do this. So that's actually looks very nice. All right, now let's cut and do a comparison. All right, so one point wasn't really that much worth because we all know that. He's changed completely, and he's still changed completely from Shreya's 3.0. They're actually the exact same height, but here's the difference. I've never liked Stringer, and this is the only Stringer that I like. So for me, that's a huge difference. I finally like at least one Stringer. The other ones were just point out terrible. <laughs> well, for me. Alright, let's just kind of take a look at the colors. Blue? In black versus yellow and black colors. I actually prefer the yellow and black because yellow and black always works good together. The blue and black actually does stand out, which is great because that color actually is very hard to work with, that color scheme. So that was kind of a risk. But they match up pull through with that, so thumbs up. Okay. Now let's just do this right off the bat. The legs are almost exactly the same. A little bit different. Just the thigh. The armor is positioned differently on their thighs. Their arms, yeah, they're completely different. Their body, completely different. Their color is completely different. Except for the black. Their helmets, completely different. Well, their helmets are always going to be, except for now. Okay. First of all, Stringer, 4.0, better. So, yeah, let's get him out of the way. Okay, this is definitely a recommendable set. He is just flat out great. He has about two flaws. And that is why I'm going to give him a nine and a half. But only because the flaws actually don't bother me too much. And I'm actually going to put plus since I actually like this set. Or as I said before, I hate like all the other screeners. But that me too. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Next review is next. And I will see you next time.